When is the last time that you made a mistake? And when I say mistake, I don't mean, oops, I forgot to take the trash out. Now we're just gonna have a whole bunch of Pop-Tart wrappers and fruit snack wrappers from our kids the whole week. No, I'm talking about a mistake where your brain stops working, right? I mean, maybe you had a really bad hangover or maybe you just had a brain fart. We all have them, but they are a very uncommon occurrence. So on those very few times where your brain stops working, we call that negligence, right? Because your brain was not there to comprehend what you were doing. The difference would be, oops, I missed my exit, I just dozed off. Versus, I cheated on my wife. You can't really say, well, my brain just stopped working. That's why I cheated on you. That's correct. You can't use that. But there is one person on earth that can use that excuse. It's Sleepy Joe. Why? Why is Sleepy Joe the only guy on earth that can use that as an excuse? Because he just pretty much started a war because his brain fails him. It does not work. Putin and Russia have a big stick. They get a whole bunch of nukes, whole bunch of tanks, whole bunch of whatever you want. And then you take Sleepy Joe and you watch the babble crap that he goes and speaks on the podium. I mean, you're pretty much just given Putin's plan a Viagra at this point. They already got troops stationed on the Ukraine border. They just got armored vehicles set up right there, ready to invade. Now, I'm just as curious as most people, how is it that Russia has such a big stick right now when the US has kind of kept them in check for a long time? What is the one key difference? Oh, that's right, because the dude in office right now is a total dumbass. He gets up on his podium the other day and is babbling away as usual, saying stuff that's just not true and that doesn't make sense at all. And then he gets to the point of Russia about to invade Ukraine. And he brilliantly, I mean brilliantly, says this. Russia will be held accountable if it invades, and it depends on what it does. It's one thing if it's a minor incursion and then we end up having a fight about what to do and not do, etc. Oh my God. So if it invades, and then you add in, it depends on what it does. Do you think Russia is going there just to go pick out a few oranges from their grocery store? I don't know, take a look at some real estate? It's not like they have that much land in Russia. What do you think they are planning on doing? They have 200,000 troops at the border. You thought it would be a good idea to say, well, it depends on what they do. I guess we'll see. That's a great way to stop an invasion. So look, we've made fun of Sleepy Joe quite a bit, and it's well-deserved, but now it's causing wars. Russia is gonna invade Ukraine. And if there was any hope in stopping it, it was this speech. It was, do not invade Ukraine. They are an ally of ours. You attack them, you're attacking us. Don't do it. I mean, it's almost like you and your friends go out on the town one night and your buddy's about to get into a fight with three guys. And you're with three guys. And you say to the three guys who are about to kick your buddy's ass, we'll jump in if it goes too far, but if you just break his nose, then, you know, do whatever you want. I mean, he just legitimately slapped Ukraine in the face. The president of Ukraine went on there to respond to this. There is no such thing as a small invasion. There is no such thing as a minor invasion. Would we be saying the same thing if China decided to just move all their troops into the US and not do anything? Technically, that's a minor invasion because they're not shooting people up yet. But are we good with that? Look, I love Chinese food as much as the next person, but I don't want to be sitting with my buds having dinner with a whole restaurant of Chinese soldiers just waiting to shoot me. That's kind of what Ukraine is thinking right now. So now the cognitive decline is causing a war. God help Ukraine and God help our troops who are bound to be sent out to Europe after this because who knows what Russia is going to do to them.